Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel for another video. Today I am sitting down to share with you guys a little bit of a comparison video between two math programs that I love and use in my homeschool. Shorman Mathematics and now the Good and the Beautiful's Simply Good and Beautiful Math since they have released a pre-algebra level. I don't usually do comparison videos like this on my channel because I am a firm believer in making sure that you all choose what is best for your family. And so something that I deem to be better might not be the better option for you. So today we are gonna stick with just the facts. I'm going to share with you guys basically some major differences between Shorman math for pre-algebra and the good and the beautiful, simply good and the beautiful math for pre-algebra for the sake of just making it easier for you guys to think about what might be the better option. I've been asked so many times, so, so, so many times as of lately, what math program I'm going to have my youngest daughter go into next year um, for her eighth grade year because in the past, my younger, um, my youngest son went into Shorman math at the pre-algebra level. Uh, I am not per going to answer that in this video, but I just wanted to highlight some uh, major differences and even a couple of similarities to help you guys choose which might be best for your family. All right, so the first thing that I wanna touch on with regards to Shorman Math and the Good and the Beautiful Math. So Shorman Mathematics starts at the pre-algebra level and goes all the way up to calculus. So this math is meant for older kids, high school kids, college preparation. The good and the beautiful, simply good and the beautiful math starts technically in uh, kindergarten and goes now to the level eight or pre-algebra level. The good and the beautiful does not have any math curriculum for anything beyond pre-algebra at this point. So that is something to understand is that the good and the beautiful's math starts in kindergarten and takes you basically to level eight, whereas Shorman Mathematics is going to start with that pre-algebra level and take you all the way through graduation with calculus. The next thing to know about Shorman Mathematics and simply good in the beautiful math is that biblical worldview is woven through the math curriculum with Shorman Mathematics. With simply good in the beautiful math, it is strictly just math. There is no worldview or uh, Christian elements to the math program. Another obvious and major difference is that Shorman Mathematics is an online math program. Now it is self-paced, so you move through the course as you wish at whatever time you want to complete your math lessons for the day, but it is an online math program program, whereas Simply Good and the Beautiful Math is a physical program that has an optional video lesson. So depending on what you're desiring there, that is an important thing and an important distinction to make is that Shorman Math is an online pre-algebra program where Simply Good and the Beautiful Math is a physical, meaning you're going to get physical books, a physical workbook, and there is an optional video option to watch the lesson. The other thing that kind of ties in with that is with Shorman Mathematics with pre-algebra, you're going to get auto grading, meaning the system that uh, Shorman Math is taught through is going to auto grade lessons, quizzes, tests, quarterly exams, all that good stuff for you, and it's going to give your child a grade at the end of the course. With Simply Good and the Beautiful Math in pre-algebra, you are going to have to grade your child's work using the um, problems and solutions guide that comes with the course. So like I already told you guys, Shorman Mathematics is an online program. So I wanted to give you guys a little look 
at the layout and how the program is operated through the platform that Shorman Mathematics uses, which is Dive. So you can see here, this is a bit of a sample lesson, how it would appear. You would watch the lecture, taking notes, etc., all dependent upon your child, of course. Um, but you start your video lesson with that lecture, you do your practice problems, and then you would move on to your practice sets for that day, which are all clearly laid out. This is, is an example on lesson nine. There's the instructions. Young Shorman has improved something really great, which instead of having to uh, figure out, going back through the whole video lesson, where they need to rewatch something to maybe grasp a concept, they can now just simply click a link. This is a simple look at a quiz, which shows you uh, green, they got the problem right, red, they got it wrong, feedback is provided. And so there's a ton of incredible features to Shorman Math, but this is just a quick little glimpse at the online program that they use that I wanted to share with you guys in this video. So I already touched on the fact that Shorman Mathematics is going to carry you through the end of your homeschool journey as far as math is considered with all of their high school math options that have in woven SAT, PSAT, and ACT prep for those college tests um, if your child is college bound. Obviously that's a huge incredible advantage of Shorman Mathematics is the fact that that is built in. And their pre-algebra, although it's not going to have those things in it quite yet, is going to seamlessly transition into those Algebra 1, Algebra 2, and so on and so forth. Um, it's going to familiarize your child with the platform, with navigating through the, the website and all of those things, whereas using a different math curriculum for pre-algebra might cover the concepts all the same, but it's not gonna give your child that hands-on experience with their portal and all of that. So that is something to consider if you're thinking about using Shorman Math for the future. And they have help available. So this is truly a math program that can be used for a child who is advanced in mathematics or a child who struggles. They have so many resources and options and teams that you can reach out to to have um, assistance with math for your child. With the good and the beautiful, there really is nothing beyond just the extra practice sheets offered and then obviously utilizing the answer guide for you to go over um, the problem with your child, but there's no extra support available when it comes to math. Now, Shorman Math for Pre-Algebra does have the option to print out uh, things that you would need as far as your notes for your class um, for that lesson, or you can even print out different aspects of the course, but it is not going to provide you with a textbook or a workbook. Again, it is all online, where the Good and the Beautiful, Simply Good and the Beautiful Math for Pre-Algebra is a physical course set. So that is something to consider when you're thinking about, you know, which math program you might like to go down because different kids work better with different things. And if you know your child needs um, simplicity or you know your child needs some colorful um options, you know, that might be something that you want to consider. Now for a few similarities that I have seen between the two, both of these uh, math programs are able to be done in your school year. They're basically formatted to do math uh, four days a week in a traditional school year. So you don't have to stress yourself out over um, the lessons. They both have 
quarterly assessments, they both have quizzes, they both have review, they both have those components to them that um, make them both really incredible math programs. So the, the ultimate question of which one you should choose really depends on considering some of the things that I mentioned in this video and also deciding what is gonna be best for your child. But those are some of the um, major points that there's differences and then some major points that there are similarities. So I will link to Shorman Math down in the description box for you guys um, if you would like to check it out. My high school kids have had great success with Shorman Math and I'm so thankful for, again, the SAT prep that is woven in. I'm excited to share with you guys in the future um, with my son who just took his SAT how that all worked out and uh, just kind of what he thinks as far as the math that was on the SAT that he took this year and then the math that he's been doing with Shorman for several years now. So I'll link to Shorman Math down in the description box. If you have any other questions, please leave them down below. Feel free to ask me um, anything and I will do my best to get back to you. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed a concise curriculum kind of comparison video. Uh, again, I don't do these very often but I had been asked a bunch about this and so I figured making a video stating some of those differences and then some of those similarities would be helpful to you guys. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys again soon. Bye friends.